Hey, it's Bear Breeder 13 and this video is about hatching brine shrimp. Um, I have everything I need to hatch. This is water. Um, warm, but not too warm. And it's about that much. I doubt we need all of it, but, um, yeah. I made one already. This is what it looks like. There's a crap. This is what it looks like. It's a two liter bottle. Uh, cut about here. And then I taped it and cut another one and, you know, taped that to that one. And then I filled it up to here. And I put one heaping tablespoon of salt in it and a pinch of baking soda. And then about a teaspoon of the ranch of eggs, but I didn't think I'd need that many, but I need more, so I'm making another one just to show you guys also. But I will use the baby brine shrimp to feed my betta fry. Okay, so this is rigid airline tubing. You don't have to have that because see it won't bend, but um, uh, there's the air pump and stuff. Okay, now, get on with building it. This is what you do. I'm using Gatorade bottles because I found these in my um, garage and all I did was cut it right there as you can see cut it right there on the bottle and then I just cut tiny slits like that in the side just like down to there like around it and stuff because it wouldn't fit in but now it fits because I did that um so what you do make sure your cap you screw it on really tight and you stick it in there and push down really hard make sure it doesn't go anywhere if you want you can duct tape it um right here if you're just like not too sure but I'm not going to because uh, it's pretty stable um then you fill it up with water hold on I'm going to get a little stand for the camera get it up a little higher for you guys. I that's good. Okay. So, like that. Oops. Sorry. Okay. Now, you fill it with water. It doesn't have anything in it yet. Um, the water doesn't to about there. It looks like that so far. Okay. Now, grab your salt. Just regular old salt. Table salt. Uh, not, or I think it's supposed to be iodized. I don't, I'm not sure, but yeah. It does not supply um, iodine. So you do one heaping tablespoon for but for this. I'm about just gonna do just one tablespoon, not a heaping one, because um, that means it's like overflowing and stuff. So that good, you know, that amount. So you add it, and you know, just don't care about it for now. I don't have an airline thing hooked up yet. I have to fix that and take it out of one of my Betta's tanks. Okay, so that's a pinch, but I'm going to add another one. So it was a very small pinch. Okay. So. That's good. Make a dip. Okay. Now, I'm going to move one of my betta tanks, so I'll be right back, like five seconds. You guys can look at my fish for now, I guess. You just watch. She's pretty active.
Welcome back. Uh, yeah, so that was Luna, by the way. You probably saw it in another video. Okay, so once you have your airline tubing inside of it, sorry for the extra air so, um, like that, hold on, moving the light back over here where it's supposed to be. supposed to have a lamp on it. Uh, that's my other one. No, there's some fish. But, um, I'm going to have it angled about like that so both of them get the light that they need. But for now, I'm just going to have it up like that. Okay, so now that you have it like that, go over here. And now you need your BBS egg and that's what they look like. They're just like these really tiny grain of sand looking things. And they're eggs. So, you know. So you unscrew it. And for this one I'm going to do a teaspoon. Actually it's a fourth of a teaspoon. Like that. Now I'm going to go over here and dump it in. There's a lot of it stuck onto it, so I just go and I stir it. And now there's even more. So, just do that. Eh, I'll wash it later. Um, okay, so. That's how you do it, and they'll hatch in about, um, 16 to 24 hours. These hatched today, um, and it was 16 hours, but not all of them hatched, so, um, yeah. And then, once you do that, I'll make another video on how to feed them to your fish.